Well, there's another major story on your beat this morning that we've been talking about. The UAW announcing yeah. an unexpected expansion of that strike on the big three. This time they're hitting Ford where it counts. It's Kentucky truck plant. It is the largest plant Ford has in the world. It is probably, by most, most in the industry, consider it the most profitable auto plant of any automaker in the United States. I mean, this is where they 19.7% of their volume comes out of the Kentucky truck plant. And oh, by the way, the stamping facility and the mm -hmm. parts that are coming out of the Kentucky truck plant, they feed into about 13 other facilities uh, upstream and downstream from or upstream from uh, that I plant thought Ford, within I thought the Ford. Ford was, uh, so go ahead. So I, I just I thought Ford where they're, they're telling us to wrap. But I, I, I thought Ford was supposed to be the one that they were making the most progress with. Why this big hit on them? I, I, Becky, I, look, that narrative has been there for a few weeks. We've done a number of stories saying this narrative about Ford being well above everybody, well further along than other people. I'm not sure where that narrative comes from, Becky. I'm being honest with you. We've done mm -hmm. stories saying there's nobody who is further along than somebody else. The UAW right now has made a decision that it's going to keep everybody guessing. And I'm sorry, but this narrative that is out there that well, Ford's close to an agreement and they're farther well, along than other people. I don't know about close people, to an agreement, but they had their... They had their Canadian, uh, uh, Canadian well, that's auto workers that's sign that's something uniform. up, and, and, now, and they're offering a higher increase than the others. General Motors is just others, locked right? up in, in Canada. Yeah. Well, General Motors just higher... locked in an agreement there. I, I thought they had offered. Under, a higher I understand what increase. you're saying. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know about anybody right. being near. I just thought that they were the ones that were maybe potentially closest to a deal. I would say there are elements of what they are offering that you would you could look at it and say they are farther along than others. But let's be clear here. The UAW wants the battery plants that are being planned organized under the same master contract. And that's not happening at this point, according to Ford, GM and Stellantis. That that's the major dividing line between whether or not we see an agreement or not.